Welcome back guys, it's me, Mr. Frederick, once again. And today, we're going to be entering in this topic called static electricity. Now, we're going to see what is it about and what good uses, examples we see around us. Okay, Static electricity is basically the imbalance, which means not equal, of electrical charges, positive, negative, within or on surface materials like wool, carpets, doorknobs, your hat, when you pull off your hat and you see that your hair is still sticking out, those are examples of static electricity. When you um, touch a doorknob and you have an imbalance of charges within you, it sets off an, a static electric shock. When you are neutral, there's a balance of charges in your body and there's, there's no static shock. But when you have like charges that are more than the other, say you have more positive than negative or more negative than, than positive, then what's happening is that the other the other items, such as the doorknob, that is neutral, that has complete balance charges, will leave to balance you. Okay? And that's the example that you see here in this picture here. Um Sometimes in the night, if you get a static electric shock in the night, you can actually see the color um, flickering with lights. Okay, so me made I made some experiments myself so that you could watch. And here is two different video examples of static electricity that I did. Okay, so here's the first example. So the first example that we have here, me. It's, it's what happens when you don't have, when it's when there's no static shock, when the charge are neutralized and balanced. So this is what happens. So when I put, so basically I have a pen, I put a paper on top, stick to an eraser, and I, um, but nothing's happening. It's not moving, it's neutralized, it's balanced. So the paper doesn't move, okay? Now, here's another example where I rubbed it onto wool carpet, this pen case. I have the pen, the inside of the pen stuck onside a racer and a little piece of paper on top so that um, it could be charged and move. So when things move closer is because opposite charges attract. And if it repels, it means it's light charges. So positive, positive, repel each other positive, negative, attract to each other. So here's what happens when it's in balance. When there's an imbalance of charges, you see that the paper is moving slowly and around, up and down, whatever the direction it is. And that shows that there's an imbalance of charges and is only moving through static electricity, okay? So those are kind of examples that you can see Every day, you could do this experiment. You just have to get a paper, take the inside of, get a piece of paper, put it small, put it on top, get a pen, um, take out the inside of the pen, put it, and stick it inside the, an eraser base, eraser, make a hole in it. Then you take the outside of the pen and rub it on a carpet, um, yeah, a carpet or your pants, something that's wool or a towel and rub it like rub it around for like 30 seconds the entire thing and then start moving it around the paper and the paper little by little will move just like you see here all right guys that's basically it for today um, take care just remember that static electricity is just the imbalance is when charges are unequal um, and that could be on surfaces surface materials on there which produces that shock so they they basically want to return back to balance all right guys take care i see you in the next video bye bye